Hello, today I'm going to be reading a text about the legendary King Lugalbanda, father of Gilgamesh and son of Enmerkar, the first king of Uruk. But first I'd like to say hi to uh, Cadaver Spotter and my other 8 subscribers. It's nice to know some people are interested in this content, even if there's very few of us. You're probably wondering why it's been so long since I made a video, and it's mostly because I've been busy getting a new job, uh, chasing girls, chasing promotions. I've uh, I've always prioritized that kind of stuff over my hobbies, but because of all this COVID stuff, a lot of my life has been put on hold, and with all this time sitting at home, I didn't have an excuse not to work on a project like this. So. The text I'll be reading is not one of the well-known Lugalbanda legends uh, known from later periods. This is actually the only text mentioning him from the era he lived. This is uh, the uh, early part of the early dynastic period. Interestingly, we don't really have any material from the period concerning the great kings who lived then. With the exceptions of this text and some fragmentary lines that are probably from a text about Gilgamesh, but basically, this is the one text that we have from that era talking about one of those kings who lived at that time. Uh, and it's only from one tablet that was found recording his story, from uh, Abu Salabih. Uh, the tablet was in fairly good condition, however, uh, the majority of the story is not known because this is actually a school tablet where the student has copied out a section from the middle of the story, uh, made a divider, and then continued with a part near the end of the story. So a lot of the context we have to guess about based on what we know from Lugalbanda from much later texts. On top of that, there's another layer of obscurity because uh, the text being so old, much of the grammar is not written, and uh, even the parts that we do have, they have to be interpreted because a lot of the grammar is not there. And uh, so, uh, because of all this, um, it's it's not as easy for me to simply present this text as I would some of the other ones I've done. Um, you kind of you've just got this chunk of the middle and then some by the end. So uh, first, I'm gonna do a preliminary explanation of the text just so um, people kind of understand what's going on. Uh, so uh, this text was edited by the legendary Sumerologist Thorkild Jakobsen uh, in the 80s, and my reconstruction is for the most part based on his edition. Uh, my version is different for two reasons. One, I've fully reconstructed the grammatical elements that were not written because the text is so old, and two, because um, I'm fairly experienced with the corpus of Abu Salabih, uh, I can read the script pretty well, uh, it was pretty easy to read through it, and um, uh, I have a few interpretations that are a little bit different from Jakobsen's, but um, my uh, reconstruction is largely based on his edition. Uh, okay, so as for the content of the text itself, um, it starts in the middle of a story where Lugalbanda is a young prince and he's with his wife-to-be Ninsumana, who is a goddess of livestock, and they're in Uruaz, called Uruaza in this text, which was a town in the mountains of western Iran. Uh, in this text, uh, Ninsumana is called by the epithet Lama, and uh, Lama is a kind of spirit in Sumerian religion slash mythology. It seems to be somewhat like a guardian angel. It's a helper, protector, spirit of sorts. Um, and uh, also in this story, uh, there's the figure of Niri, uh, Lugalbanda's deified cutting weapon, 
probably a dagger or an axe, uh, whose name literally means fear caster. He seems to be a helper slash sidekick to Lugobanda. Um, Sumerologists tend to be hesitant about accepting these, this interpretation of Neri, but as strange as it sounds, we actually do have a well-known uh, case of another Sumerian king who had a deified weapon with a similar scary name made with the grammatical Dubsar construction. Uh, the interpretations also supported by Neri appearing in a gods list uh, from the site uh, and because in the text, Lugalbanda takes Neri in his hand, like you would a weapon. So anyways, uh, next in the story, he's with uh, Lugalbanda and Ninsumana. They're in uh, Uruaza, and they go back to Uruk to see the Lord, who is uh, presumably Lugalbanda's father, Enmarkar. Uh, however, they're concerned about some issue involving a delivery tablet. And um, based on later texts about Lugalbanda, he was probably sent as a diplomat to Arata or some similar land in uh, the Zagros Mountains, which is a uh, modern day western Iran, to deal with some matter of delivery, um, maybe collecting tribute from a vassal state or sending a royal gift, something like that. Um, however, there was some kind of issue um, because uh, Lugobanda in the story then needs to be helped by the divine ghost of his mother. Uh, Jakobsen speculated that um, maybe the delivery was used to help Ninsumana or pay her bride price. Um, so that could possibly be uh, what the issue was. Um, and it's at this point where the text cuts off before resuming again. Um, the exact line where it ends, uh, Ianita, it means five males. Um, so uh, what's going on here is uh, we know from later texts about Lugobanda that um, he had ten children. And uh, the line before this, it's asking uh, his divine mother to decree... Uh, good pregnancy for his wife. So what's likely happening here is uh, they're going to ask for five male children and five female children. Anyways, then when the text resumes, it's uh, Niri is asking the Divine Mother of Lugobanda uh, about uh, something about the, uh, the gate of the city and um, if the interpretation is correct, he seems to be asking for some position as an overseer uh, regarding the gate of a city, perhaps as a reward for uh, the help that he's given Lugobanda uh, throughout the story. Uh, yeah, so that's the um, basic content of the story. Um, so now that you know the background info, I will uh, read the text. And uh, first I'll be doing it in a reconstructed early dynastic 1 slash 2 pronunciation. Lamanen sumanake akaren munsetse. Lamanen sumanake kalinsu. Igimun lip nirina munno. Kalpanta kalzue lama ninra tamura nintip Iginia sup kania sup Pirkal inga munzu Lama nin sumanake umunze U atza munin parak Kingish tuka ena utsal Uruatza tura turunesh Lokal panta e kalenzu Niri shu imanti Laman in sumanake lokal pantara ine muna nip kiki e Enra unokshe ka munatashi zi en Tup mutum she Lokal panta e enra ki munanza En e lokal pantara inim 
muna ni Kiki e ning korta sen zu eu kamap token ano ne si muksa sa ene u kanap token lokal panta kisal par she ima ta e niri kokuts niri ano ne Lira shu munanin ki. Amalu lokal pantak aplalta imta e. Lamanin sumunake i kishi akup ki pantak. Lokal panta halocham. Kisala aki uptake. Amalu e lokal pantara inim munanip kiki e. Zatam kurta muta etse. Tamta munta nu en. Ushpar nidlam tumutsu mete. Peshtuk tukmap. Ianita. Niri anune lira muna zaga. Kisaltar kashar tumtuma kushu kapapti. Niri anunra lil e inim munanip kiki e. And now for the classical pronunciation. Lamanin sumunake agarin mundretre. Lamanin sumunake gal in zu. Igi munlip nirina munnu. Lokal banda gal zue lamaninra tamura nindip. Igi nia sub. Kania sub. Birgal inga munzu. Lamanin sumunake umundre. U aza munin barak. Kingish toga ena uzal. Uru aza tur el tronesh. Lukal banda e gal in zu. Niri shu imanti. Lamanin sumunake lukal banda ra inim munanib kiki e. Enra unukshe ka munatashi zi en. Dukmutumshe lukal banda e enra ki munanza. En e lukal banda ra inim munanib kiki e. Ninkurta drezu u kamabtogen. Anune si mubsasa ene u kanabtogen. Lukal banda kesalbar she imanta e. Niri kukutr, niri anune lira shu munaningi. Amalun lukal bandak ablalta imta e. Lamanin sumunake i kishi akub ki bandak. Lukal banda halocham. Kisala aki uptake. Amalu e lukal bandara inim munanib kiki e. Zatam kurta muta e dre. Damda munda nu en. Ushpar, nidlam, tumuzu mete, peshtog dugmap, ianita. Niri, anune, lira, munazaka. Kisalbar, kashar, tumtuma, kushu kabapti. Niri, anunra, lil e, inim munanib kiki e.